Good day, my name is Craig Bryden. I'm a business intelligence consultant working at Wardy IT Solutions. Today I'll be demonstrating how to connect to Facebook from Microsoft's Power Query for Excel. This is a supplement to the presentation on Power Query, which I've delivered to a couple of SQL Server Saturdays and user group meetings. Okay, so first we bring up Excel, which is already up on your screen, and we go to the Power Query ribbon. From there, we choose from other sources and the option from Facebook. Firstly, I will show you how you can access your own Facebook profile and get all kinds of information. I'm going to access my list of friends, filter the list, and then get their gender. So once you click that, you get the opportunity to either choose yourself, which it will get from your Facebook credentials, which I've already supplied in this instance, a particular username or an object ID. Once you've set that, you can choose what type of connection you want to make. This is using Facebook's Graph API. You can see there's a whole bunch of standard options. You know, um, likes, posts, um, and in this case, I'm going to be interested in showing my friends. So once I've selected that, it's immediately brought up the query editor window, which if you've attended one of my previous presentations will look familiar to you. And all of the people that I'm friends with on Facebook will be listed there. The thing that is interesting is that at this point, we can filter the list and I'm just doing this in order to protect the identity of most of my friends. And I'm going to choose people whose names begin with P. And immediately it has filtered that list down for me. Right now all we see is the name, which isn't extremely useful. So I'm going to click on this little icon in the object link and I can choose various attributes of my friends to show as well not going to do everything in this case I'm just going to do the gender and choose OK and then you can say, see it's gone off for each row done a, a graph query and returned the gender for those frames if I now choose done it returns this information to Excel, an Excel table for me as per any other data query uh, data query query and there we go so that was my first demonstration What's really interesting is that if you know the username or the object ID for a publicly available Facebook pages like company pages, I know Starbucks is a good example, but you can actually get certain information which they've made publicly available from those pages. So in this case, what I'm going to go and do is do a new Power Query query from Facebook, and I'm going to look at some information from the Wardy IT Facebook page, who happens to be my employer. And I ha I've already found out what their object ID is for the benefit of this presentation. And what I'm going to go and do is select to see posts made on the Wardy IT Facebook page. As you can see, it's going off to graph.facebook.com and my internet connection that I have at the moment is not particularly breathtaking, so that took a little bit of time, but that is down to your internet speed and how quickly Facebook responds. So I'm going to remove a lot of columns here which are of absolutely no use to me. We know that all of these pastes were done by somebody in Wardy IT, so no point in showing that information. And just clean this up a little bit so that we're looking at a more usable set of data and <clears throat> so I'll remove those but something I'm interested in, if you go across here, you'll see there's all kinds of other things. There's story tags, likes, and shares. So we can get a, a count of how many people actually liked each post, how many people shared each post, and so on and so forth, and various other 
things. So there we go. As you can see, it's busy getting all the information again from the internet, which will take a few seconds in my instance. And the data is busy returning. And there we go, it's done. So, as you can see, we have the post, how many likes and how many count, uh, how many shares there were, and that's how you use Power Query to query Facebook. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you got something out of this short video.